with them. Maroon 5 are um, doing the half time. Oh, yeah. Guess I'll be in bed before the half time show. Because <laughs> 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 I was at that thing, I, I, I don't think I can watch Maroon 5, man. I don't think I can watch Maroon 5. <laughs> and the half time shows are long. Uh, when it's yeah, like man. 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah, my man. eyes are heavy. I mean, the only half time show that I really remember watching was Beyonce's yeah, one. Yeah, Beyonce's, Beyonce's one. Yeah. one yeah. <laughs> Yes, guys, welcome to Neat Sports Podcast episode 13. Again, I'm here with Ramon and Kyle. Um, yeah, very good, uh, interesting week of sport. We just, uh, or weekend anyway, we've just had. Um, Kyle, you wanted to speak about the Super Bowl. Um, and maybe Ramon, while we're tripping in it, because your owner is. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, your owner is, is the owner gonna be the traveling over. He's going to be traveling over to watch the uh, Super Bowl on Sunday. Kevin, he's there. there really. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. You, you got extended, to tell me extended leave. Extended leave. Man, man, don't even watch the Super Bowl. I, like usually, I watch the first half and I fall asleep at half time. Who's who's uh, who's, only, a, I, who's I, on the half time show? That's actually a good question. For this this year, I don't even know. I can't even remember. But who's, who's in the final anyway? Uh, it's Ram. Well, say I say the final. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. L I I I. Super Bowl 53. Um, it's Rams versus Patriots. Um, and I only watch. I only watched the NFL championships up to a certain point, mm. and that point is when Patriots get knocked out. If they get knocked out, and as it is, they're in the Super Bowl because I support. I, I say I support Patriots, but. I only started watching NFL because of Patriots, mm-hmm. and it's, and it, it's it's not like it's actually a Sorry, funny reason Mar- why I started. Mar- it. Maroon Five are um, doing the halftime. Oh yeah, guess oh, I'll yeah. be in bed before the halftime show. Because <laughs> 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 I was at that thing. I, I, I don't think I can watch Maroon Five, man. I don't think I can watch Maroon Five. <laughs> and the halftime shows are long. Oh, when it's yeah, like man. four o'clock in the morning, yeah, my man. eyes are. Heavy. I mean, the only halftime show that I really remember watching was Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce's yeah, one. Beyonce's yeah. one yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I I only started watching because obviously I had a couple of friends that religiously watch and follow NFL and mm. they were like oh Kyle give it a go give it a watch this that this that I was like okay 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 and I just looked at that the list of teams and, and their names and I was just like oh you know what I will follow and you know as much as I can this team Patriots and the only reason why I did that is because their their name was New mm. England and I live in England so I was like <laughs> I'll go with New England they said they are the, they are the New England that's why I said I'll, just, I'll pick that team but as it turns <coughs> out they're decent <laughs> They're decent. Like <laughs> Brady's just winning them a bunch of um Super Bowls and it's been a ride. I mean, I'm gonna be supporting them all the way. They're probably gonna win. I mean, Rams don't look like they're much of a Are Rams for... is it are they like underdogs to get no not under, but I mean was it's it's a surprise that they've got their or I don't know. Yeah, no one actually expected them to Oh is it? Yeah. So um Patriots are supposed to be the better team. Um they had a rough uh, playoff. Uh, if we over here, we will call it a semi-final. Over there, they call it a playoff. Oh, for the to get to the AFC. Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, what, I don't know what, what whatever but division they, like, they are in, whatever conference. They are. Uh, they they are know, they are um, was it AFC? It's AFC and, and NFC. Yeah. Is it NFC? And oh, you're looking at Rams, me, Rams 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 came from. Uh, I can't even remember, but what's it called? Patriots had a rough ride. NFC there. West is Rams. Yeah. NFC <coughs> West. Um, they had a rough match before. There was something like 18-0 up and everyone was going swimmingly and everyone was like, oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. oh, 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 that. oh, oh they're going to cruise into the Super Bowl and then all of a sudden... Was that against the Saints? Or did Rams play the Saints? Rams played the Saints. Yeah, Rams oh, played okay. the Saints. Mm-hmm. Played the Saints. And then all of a sudden... They started getting slapped about. Oh, you sorry, you're saying it was 18 0 in terms of the league, like not the league, but the season. No, in the match. Oh, in, the, in, match. That, oh, in that game alone. Oh, in that game alone, yeah, they were 18 up. Like, and then they were cruising, and everyone was just like, well, we'll see them in the Super Bowl. It's going to like be them versus Rams, and it's just like, and then, and then, and then, and then all of a sudden, they started getting slapped up, and everyone was like, whoa, they're about to go out. But they pulled through in the end, and, you know, Brady Bunch, as we call them. Um, I'm expecting them to win the Super Bowl. Um, I, obviously, I haven't been following it for like an extended period of time. I'm still new in the scene um, in 
NFL. Um, so I don't know like a whole host of players like 50 years ago, 30 mm-hmm. years ago, 20 years ago. But from what I know, like strictly speaking from like a decorated point of view, not talent wise, etc. For me, like Brady probably going to be. Like, if, you, if he wins this Super Bowl again, like mm. this guy is bare old and decrepit, man. Mm. And this guy is always pulling out another ring, another Super Bowl. If he, if he does it again, the guy surely has to go down as like the best of like he, he will be what six? Yeah, be number six. Well it's number, number six. I ain't got that for six. those American schools. Jesus, man. I um, six. I, I started following, not following, but I wanted to like to learn how NFL works. A number of years ago, and I was playing for um, or training with London Blitz down at Frisbee Park, um, with a couple of my friends, but. I ain't got that still, man. Like I understand the basis of it, first down or the, the fourth mm. down, and all that kind of stuff. The, the scoring, but when it's all technical, like fouls, and I can't tell you whether it's a foul or not. <laughs> what you can and can't do, how you can and can't tackle. So, you know, I just, I, I watch it from a distance. Mm. I, I don't even watch it from a distance. Just lie. I check the Super Bowl score. Mm. Uh, you know, when it's all done. Okay, yeah. cool. See, so you, you know who's who's won it the most and that kind of stuff. Mm. You know, the, the main stats, but. Mm. Other than like, I think it was when Green Bay Packers played, uh, what do you call it, Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm. That was the only time I was really into it because obviously Wiz Cleaver made the song Black and Yellow, yeah, and that yeah. was for Pittsburgh yeah. Steelers. Yeah. And uh, then what's his name, Lil Wayne made like a remix of mm. it, mm-hmm. uh, Green and yeah. what do you call it? What do you call it? Green and I feel like he called it Green and Yellow. It could have been, but for the Green Bay Packers, obviously he was back in them. Mm. Um, other than that. I ain't got a clue what goes on. <laughs> like, we'll see what happens in it. I think so. the most interesting thing, I like, I like watching it, it's enjoyable. Like, I understand it way more than I did like a good few years back, and I enjoy watching it. Obviously, one of the biggest things is <coughs> the time difference. Like, some of the games are like way past bedtime, man. Like, mm. and, and then once the game is done and I find out the score, it's not it's not like a case where I'm like, I'm an avid watcher of NFL. I'm not just going to go back and rewatch the whole game. Like, mm. if I miss the game because it's way out of my time zone, like, <laughs> that's it. I've missed the game. Mm. I will see what the score is and I'll be like, cool, we move on. I will try and watch the Super Bowl. If I make it past the halftime, it will be like an achievement. Like, maybe the last four years I've made like twice, maybe. I've watched I've, the, you, the whole game. I, I think but, I've, I've only watched the whole game once, possibly twice <laughs> at best. But I reach, like, the best I reach, really, Generally, it's half time, if that. Uh, third quarter. Because <laughs> the problem I have, and there's a lot of American sports, too many breaks, man. Mm. So you get through the first half, you know, in order, in the time that it is. Then you have the long, um, you call it, uh, half time show. But it's like they, do, they just come back from the half time show, and someone's calling a timeout, mm. and they're doing tactical this and tactical. Listen, get on with it, man. <laughs> Just get on with the game. They get slapped. They have to get, to, get on. They have to have a word. And with obviously, the they didn't have to change over the tight to the defense. And all, even that takes time. Mm. Yeah, it's just too much for me. If it was on our time, yeah, it's you know it's possible that I can. But I guess it's like it's not the same. But it's like watching um, F one, where mm-hmm. if you watch the highlights of it, yeah, everything's happening. But a lot of the time nothing's actually happening yeah, yeah. you're just yeah you're just going until you <laughs> reach the end zone you reach the yeah. then something might happen mm. but a lot of it nothing's happening like, I'm not mm. saying it's not important like, everything that's happening is important but for like for a neutral yeah. a casual watcher you're like how, like my mum would say, "I can just watch cars go around and around." Like, nah, man, mm. a lot's happening, man. The the, the, the tires are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing? The VRS flat we, ain't working on that we, life. Yeah. And women say, "How can you watch a bunch of twenty men just <laughs> kick, kick, the ball. Kick, kick, kick a ball?" Like, so did, did, mm. did you just pass the ball backwards and forth to each other like mm. that? When you watch that, but it's like if you enjoy, you enjoy, isn't it? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're watching, isn't it? Yeah, I have a, a guy I work with. At. I work obviously. Um, he <laughs> <laughs> he is has I think he's got his wife's American or whatever. So, but he's always been into um, NF uh, well American football. But he only watches college football. But he religiously okay. watches college football. He doesn't watch. He doesn't know anything about NFL. <laughs> doesn't watch okay. NFL at all. Only watch college football. Okay. But like. Like he can tell you everything about college football and nothing about NFL. It's <laughs> mad. But he said like it's just. <laughs> It's weird, like you either you're in or you're out. So you're either in one or you're in the other. Yeah, well, you can't both. Well, you can, but most people like that go to college football won't go to watch mm-hmm. NFL games because that's and the crowds are bigger in college football than yeah. they are for, for NFL. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's so split. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, uh, like I 
I like what they do with like their college because you can get like a whole like what do they call it over there like a degree like what do they call it over well, there like a scholarship like, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah get like a scholarship yeah in playing college football yeah, and stuff yeah like, and, I, and I like what they do like because they're so dedicated to it right mm. like you have college football and these college football players are the ones that end up playing in for NFL mm. yeah, and going to the Super Bowl mm. but I like how, like say say that like college football over here our football would be like academy players right yeah, yeah. Or playing in certain academies, yeah. and loads of people go and watch them, yeah. Yeah. And, and you know scouts are coming because yeah. those college football they know that yeah. loads yeah. of scouts go, yeah. And then how they do it, like at, after the Super Bowl, like, after the end of the NFL season, mm. they have like the draft, draft picks, pick, yeah. yeah. And the worst ranked team Get the gets first the pick. first pick, yeah. So they could pick the best. That's why, like the, the Super Bowl, like the worst teams can just come out and all of a sudden yeah. they win the Super Bowl the next year because yeah. they had the, the first teams on the best players, yeah. And it kind of keeps like. Competitive. everything competitive which yeah. is kind of which is kind of like cool kind of fun like mm. if we had some i'm not saying to have something like that but it's it's different and i yeah. like that i like mm. i like that the way they have that it gives everyone a chance mm. and it kind of says that at least i know <coughs> that this youngster this college player if he's good enough he's gonna have like a career future he's got scouts coming because that's the thing gonna get because they don't even care what NFL team they go to? No, they don't. As long as they're yeah. NFL, yeah. As long as they're picked and draft, yeah. yeah. that's there's all that no, matters. There's yeah. no allegiances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's weird because I mean, like, obviously last year, um, it was Jay Ajay he got the he got drafted into the Philadelphia yeah. Eagles, isn't it? And yeah. it was like at the time, I was like, he was so helpful because I remember we did we did film for them yeah. before, and it was so all oh, Miami Dolphins this, Miami <laughs> Dolphins that, like full on like. He was just constantly talking about it and he bought his boy and he's like, yeah, Miami Dolphins this, Miami Dolphins that, like constantly. Bam, draft pick. Everything changed. Free deal for Eagles this. <laughs> I was like, this is mad. Like, they push their thing so much but they don't care. Really, they don't care. Yeah, they just want to be there yeah. and play there. And obviously, he got to play in the Super Bowl got, and, then, and then he won it. So it's like, all of a sudden, like, you just, you switch completely and you, you're just in a new team with new players but you have a chance of just Doing, and yeah, the thing, once yeah, you're in the NFL, because obviously you can get signed on your contract, you can move from one franchise to the next. Isn't it? So once you're in, mm. like it, it will take a lot, I guess, for you to go, come out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what you just want to get in, and then mm. after that, it's like, yeah, yeah we'll see, we we'll see where it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't just care go, if you have the worst the team. Flow. Yeah. As long as you just perform. Yeah. Just perform as good as you can. Yeah. For the worst team. Yeah. And then a bigger team. Yeah. Who's probably got, you mm-hmm. know, possibly got more wage cap and that kind of stuff. It's kind of sick because if you think about it, right, say the worst team, right. Say they, actually, say they had a good wide receiver mm. and they were like, okay, now we need a good quarterback. They got first pick. They picked the best going quarterback in the mm. college at the draft, right? Okay. We still didn't do too good. We did better, we did better last year. We did better this year than we did last year. But we still got a wide receiver. We still got a quarterback. Mm. They go back in for another draft pick. Okay. Now we're going to get another player that we don't have in a in position that we don't have that's poor. Now they've got three good players, and then they're saying, that's it. Mm. It's, it's fun, man. It's enjoyable. I like it. Man.